Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so in this video, guys, we're gonna talk about Capricorn's week, uh, August 12th to August 18th, uh, 2019, uh, using tarot cards or through the prism of tarot. Now, just give me a couple of seconds to shuffle the cards and we're gonna jump right into it. So the first card, which represents the topic for Sag uh, for Capricorn's excuse me week, is going to be uh, the Magician card, followed by the second one, which stands for the challenges. Here we do have the Moon card. So this uh, th this week itself, uh, it does look like that you are going to have a lot of doubts within yourself, in the sense of that. Uh, well, I don't know how really to explain it, but let's say that you will. Um, you will have a, a strong impulse to do something. It's not even an impulse. It's more like a rational explanation to do something. And at certain point, you may be kind of like doubtful of what you're doing. It's it, it, it's like a point, uh, Capricorn, where you know that you can that you, that you can conquer this this project, you know, or you can be with that person, okay, or or you can do this hobby, or you can do this traveling, or or these kind of stuff. Now the problem here is going to be that you are not going to see toward what end this is going. I mean, you're not going to see the reason behind it. You're not going to see the points. Well, I would tell you the point. Personal independence, sovereignty, showing to the world that your actions actually mean something, all right? Showing to the world that you are unique, showing to everybody around you that you are unique, okay? Because um, it, it seems with these two cards here on the first couple of positions, it seems that you have finally started doing something meaningful for yourself, something rather substantial, okay? And just because you don't see the end of it, just because you don't see how it's going to turn out, that should not be a prerequisite for you to give up, all right? So let's say that you start a new job, okay? And you don't see how this job is going to end. You don't see why have you started that job. Well, that is something substantial. This is something you are supposed to do. This is something that you are supposed to learn, okay? And uh, for that reason, you need to know that you are finding just on the beginning of this journey, on this venture. You don't know what is going to happen. Nobody knows what is going to happen there. But these cards are showing here that you are as qualified as possible. You are as fit and as sweet as possible. Therefore, it is your show. It is your game. Establish the rules and let others play it, okay? And you just enjoy the show. Now, that being said, it's important throughout the week to um, put your communicational skills into the matters there, you know, make your negotiations right, uh, make your um, testimonials and as well, you know, the conditions known to your boss, to the world, to the person that you wanna be with as well, and show that once those conditions are met, you do things which you have promised, or in other words, you know, you support your actions with very, very strong determination. Very good week for you to decide what you want to study 
from now on and how to uh, which kind what kind of skills you want to add to your arsenal it doesn't have the study to start or the qualification to start this week but it is a good week to figure out what you want to be in your life should you don't know up until this moment the uh, next card here which is the positive aspect of the week is going to be the uh, page of wands and the last one it's going to be the eight of wands which is the guidance so uh, it, it looks like that you do have something as an, an example here or someone who truly helps you to believe in yourself someone who hmm, how do i say it uh, someone who makes a point that regardless of how preposterous you know your new idea or your new substantial thing may look like to everybody around you uh, this person it's, it encourages you to follow it because it's yours all right it's not james's it's not alan's it's it's not uh britney's it's yours and if you don't fight for, for, for what makes you happy, if you don't fight for what is substantial to you, you know, no one else is gonna fight for you guys, it's just, it's, it's as simple as that. Well, that person, like we said here in the positive aspect, is not gonna fight for you, but it's not gonna, it's not going to obstruct you in any way, in fact, they're going to encourage you. And uh, also, what is good about that card is that they will also help you to see how strong you are on your own accord, that actually you don't need anybody to tell you what to, what to do, that actually you don't need to follow anybody, which is a good sign that you may decide to start your own business, you know, which is a good sign sign that you may have to detach now from certain strings of uh, financial strings of your ex-wife or your ex-husband you know uh, or a uh, unhealthy relationships and all these kind of stuff but before we scrutinize the reading card by card guys let's just run the cards one more time the magician is the first one which is the topic followed by the moon card which stands as a, a challenge afterwards we do have the page of wands which represents the positive aspect and then the last one here it is the eight of wands which stands as a, a guidance okay so uh the magician card it's a, it's a card that first of all marks the very first steps into one's agenda so this is a, a time where you are collecting either resources gathering up on information uh scoping out what what is going to take for you to uh to push the thing through, mixing all that here and make the magic happen. Therefore, like I said, it is, it is a good time. You do not know what you want to work, what you want to be uh, in the future of your career or in life in general to make up your mind or to think about it throughout the week because it's very likely that you are going to stumble upon the right direction in your life. As a matter of fact, I would definitely say that because the moon card into the challenge represents the right path into one's life but the magician also represents a, a call for sovereignty personal independence um amazing those which are around you which uh, by the way uh, may not have believed in you up until this moment it does stands for very determined actions it does stand for a uh, um, a a presence that says I am the man, you know, I am the woman, I am the one who can do the job, I am the one that we want to be with because I completely fulfill, you know, what your expectations, I am the one who can solve the problem and all these kind of stuff. And additionally, whatever magician does, it's, it, it, it is magicians. But what I mean is that it cannot be taken away. So you establish a relationship throughout the week. It cannot be taken away from you, from anybody. It's just, it is you who can destroy it, right? You create something, it's yours. Only you can destroy it. Same thing goes for a job. You start a job, only you can quit. You, you can be pretty, um, how can I place it, eased here and resigned that you have to screw up pretty big colossal failure so you get suspended it's not going to be even a failure i would i would think the accompanied card and this is lovely here so the accompanied card it is the eight of pentacles formation active enemies i you ain't gonna even break a sweat it's just it's it's preposterous the eight of pentacles 
here too the magician says that oh these kind of like hunches for the subtleties for the minor details that I there it, it, it is natural to you I mean pretty much you're gonna uh, be completely aware of what you gotta do how to do it you know and the execution is gonna look like as a piece of cake as a matter of fact uh, these two cards here are representing uh, how how do I display it? are representing very very strong presence okay in, in a sense of that uh, you are gonna breed reliability you know you start work on a certain project people will believe you people will believe that you are the man or the woman or whatever your boss will feel compelled you know to believe in you as well as your partner husband wife and all these kind of stuff should you um should you don't should you not see hesitant or look hesitant excuse me so uh which leads us to the next card and that is going to be the challenge the moon card. So the challenge itself is uh, with the moon card. It's more like a uh, a personal belief to uh, to the standpoint where you're finding yourself at. In a sense of that the the, the the moon card breeds uh insecure a sense of insecurity and sense of uh, of uh, how do I say it. Um, well, it's insecurity and lack and like lack of stability, really. It is because whatever it's happening to you, you may not see the full reason behind it, just like I said from the start. So, for example, let's say that your boss sees you very capable and decides to give you this really, really important project. You may think that there is a catch behind. You may think that they are giving it to you because they want to get rid of you. So they have an excuse to get rid of you because you may not feel prepared. And what we said this week is about you gathering information gathering resources, scoping what it takes and make the magic happen. So it's completely normal to feel a bit unprepared, okay? But with these two cards, you can definitely do it. You just have a little bit more clamor within yourself. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of... Um, the Six of Pentacles formation, it is a, a passive friend and it's, it's simply that that is just a confirmation of the testimonial that you are on the right track. There is no way to say it and the only challenge that you are to face is to believe that that is yours, okay? That, that is your right track, that is your path. Whether you like it or not, it is yours and you have to walk it, all right? Up until the very end. You resist it. The more you resist it, the more insecure you're going to feel. So pretty much it's it's about resignation. It's, it's about being humble of what is happening around you and make the most out of it. And oh my God, how much you can make, guys. It's just, it's, yeah, it's ridiculous, okay? So the next one uh, here stands for the positive aspect that Taro is uh, showing and divulging for you. We do have the uh, Page of Wands. And the page of wands, it's a, a person that uh, truly encourages you. It could be, a, it mo it's most likely someone um, younger than you are, right? Someone who has that very open mind and free spirit and these, um, at some points, rather ridiculous ideas, preposterous ideas. But do you know what? It doesn't care. I mean, that person doesn't care how people see them. That person doesn't care what the people think about their idea. As a matter of fact, that person feels extremely uncomfortable when they have a boss on their head, when they have someone to tell them what to do. It is because, you know, no one listens to their brilliant come up with, all right? And for that being said, now as you do have uh, the, the necessary authority, the necessary means, you can negotiate your way through, you can actually start doing something about your idea, about your wish, all right, about your yearning, they will encourage you. And as a matter of fact, as I said before, the page of wants always encourage someone to try it on their own because at the end, what, what matters is what we create on our own because this is how no one can take it away from us, okay? So uh, the thing here with the page is that the page will make everything on their power to make you believe in your personal strengths to realize that you are strong enough on your own and you don't need anybody to help you with whatever. The accompanied card here is going to be the Nine of Swords formation. It is a active friends. Uh, so fearless, all right? The page is fearless and is going to uh, transmute or rather like a, a transfer this sense of fearless, a fearlessness 
within you or with you. Uh, so, uh, for example, <clears throat> let's say that you do have this good good idea or you, you do start dating with that handsome girl, okay? And you are very afraid uh, of what comes up next. You know, you don't know how, you don't know how you stand with her. You don't know if she has someone else that she's dating with and these kind of stuff. And you are reluctant, for example, to make a move for something deeper because you are afraid of what she's gonna say. Well, the page is gonna tell you, well, at least, guy, you're gonna know, right? At least, you know, you ain't gonna wonder every single night being a being unable to eat, being unable to sleep. At least, you're gonna live in peace. Okay, so it's gonna take away this 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 fear which rots your soul, which which obstructs you of taking action. And this action, of course, is going to have a consequences. It does, it does look like that there are going to be a good consequences, all right? But the fear itself, it is my point here, is that makes you petrified, unable to make the right move. And this fear, gone. It's, it's going to be completely gone throughout this week, uh, thanks to the Page of Wands. And the final card that we do have for you, Capricorn, it is the positive aspect, uh, the guidance, excuse me, and that will be the Eight of Wands. So Eight of Wands, in this case, it's a very rare property of the Eight of Wands, but it does speak for intelligence. It does speak for uh, knowing, you know, which, uh, which opening, which opportunity is for you, approaching uh, every single, uh, how can I place it, take off, with clear-headed mind and this rare property comes around when the magician is on the uh, on a prime position with the eight of wands open mind and are very clear of of what the opportunity holds on to okay therefore uh, you are going to be very picky or the cards are advising you to be very picky and to demand a lot in a sense of the uh, with, with your expectations. So the, the Eight of Wands here asks you not to settle for less than you think you deserve. Because as we said beforehand, you deserve and you or you're going to reach much more, much more than you are anticipating. In the future, of course, not throughout the week, because the week is where you're gathering the means, but eventually you are going to find yourself at the top of the world. So you need to make your ambitions as like an ambitions for the top of the world, for a person who is to stand on the top of the world. And the Ten of Swords here to the Eight of Wands, uh, the formation, it is a active friends, urges you to make clean break with the past, simply draw the line, you know, just banish everything negative that happened in there because it, what happened happened. And now it's time for you to approach the dawn that it is forming on the horizon. You know, the, the dark times or the sky darken, it's, it's almost over here. And you are kind of like breathing the very first um, chunks of fresh air, the very first, uh, how can I place it, breezes of, of something that, that cooks for you a, um, and an, and an awesome future. Right, and it's just you need to completely burn some bridges with the past that that may still linger within you, boosting up, holding on, igniting that fear which I said rots your soul and keeps you, renders you incapable to do something to make yourself happy, and to make yourself successful. In fact, so yeah. That being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 12th to August 18th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we are going to see each other around, I hope. And until then, bye.